Hey, just want to make a video today to help anyone who's trying to mix a small batch of the Mape um, Color Plus Grout. This is the fast setting grout. And uh, really, it works better for me to mix up small batches because this grout sets up so fast. So I'll show you a little bit about how I mix the grout and how I do the math to calculate for the, the amount of the grout powder mix and the amount of water to mix uh, to mix a small batch of grout. So uh, what I'm going to be mixing today is a three pound batch of this grout, um, three pounds of the powder, and then I'll show you how to figure out and calculate the amount of water. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to use a little bit of algebra. I'm going to use a formula called Y equals MX plus B. Now this is not too hard. Somebody who's not super math savvy might look at this and be like wow but it's it's nothing too bad so anyway what it would be is this is a 25 pound bag of grout and i guess you can see that hopefully on this video right here it's 25 pounds so i'm gonna let my y be 25 and then equals well the m is the slope we don't know that so we'll just put m and then our x is going to be our amount of water if you look on the back of this bag You'll see right here, it shows 2.6 to 2.8 U.S. quarts to mix with this entire 25-pound bag. So we'll just say 2.7 and pick the middle. So for our X, we're going to put 2.7 and then plus 0. <laughs> 0 in the place of B because when you mix 0 of the grout mix, you're going to require zero water so we'll start at zero and that'll be our b so to calculate this we'll just take and we'll divide both sides by the 27 or the 2.7 sorry 2.7 us quarts that'll cancel that on that side and you divide this side by 2.7 so 25 divided by 2.7 And that's going to give you 9.259 equals your um, equals your m. So that's your slope. So now we want to calculate. So we want to calculate for a three-pound batch of this grout. So we're going to say y equals three. So we're going to put three equals our M, we know our slope value, it's 9.259. And then our X is what we're going to solve for, the amount of water that we need to mix a three pound batch of this grout. And then it's going to be plus zero. That's where we are determined. So, uh, so now what we need to do is we need to divide both sides by the 9.259. 259 that cancels on that side and then divide this side by the 9.259 so 3 divided by 9.259 equals 0 0.324 that's your amount of water x equals that so it's going to be that 0 0.324 three two four quarts and we want to convert that to cups so that's equivalent to 1.296 cups I have a converter on my phone that I use it's just a, an app that you can convert quarts to cups you can look up on the internet and find those really easy so and I've already got that right here I actually have one, and that's gonna be between one and a quarter and one and a third cups of water. So I've, it's probably leaning a little bit closer to the one and a third when I poured it out. So anyway, so I've got my water and I've got my powder. I've already put two pounds in here and this is my little weight scale that I have. You'll need some type of way 
to weigh out your powder. This one goes up to a pound. This little weight scale that I have goes up to a pound. So I just measure out a pound of powder three times. And uh, so I've already got my third pound here. I use this, I zero out my scale, I put the little styrofoam cup on there, I zero it out, and I use this scoop, and I scoop my powder over into here and measure it to a pound, then I put it in there. So if you notice, I actually have it in a, in a Walmart bag, just a, 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 a sack, because I actually, I prefer to uh, jump in it. I prefer to put my water in first, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I put my, man, I'm still seeing some grime and junk in my deal here. Okay, I think I got that pretty clean now. So I like to put my water in first. Then I put my powder in. put my my powder on top of it and uh, my three pounds of, of grout and I'm ready to mix it up so I, I've got a I've just got a cordless drill here 20 volt black and decker with a, uh, a mixer attachment And this grout will look pretty dry. It won't. It, it won't hardly mix for a look, for the first little bit. And you would be tempted to think you might need to add more water, but you don't. You just need to keep mixing. And uh, and then it, it'll it'll come out perfect every time. So I, I mix it exactly with the, the amount of water to the amount of powder that the, the manufacturer recommends. I just do the math so that I can mix up a smaller batch of this grout because like I said it is a rapid setting grout and if I if I have had problems I put too much out one time and it, and it uh, set up on me before I could get it all worked. So for subway tile I usually mix up a three pound batch because uh, it has small grout lines, one eighth grout lines, and a lot, of, a lot of little tiles, three by six subway tile. Uh, and uh, but if you're doing a bigger tile, like uh, maybe an eight by eight or bigger or something comparable to that size with a maybe a quarter inch grout line, uh, you can. You can go up a little more. You could do a six pound batch and probably, I've done that and not had any trouble. But I don't ever mix up a whole bag of this of this uh, grout at once because it's just, it sets up too fast. And uh, so anyway, I hope, hope this video helps someone today who's uh, trying to figure out how they can mix up a smaller batch of this grout and uh this is this is good grout I, I really like it and my color has been very consistent i've been able to get a very consistent color i love the color this is the charcoal that i'm using and uh so anyway Pretty happy, pretty happy with this grout. Really, I actually like the Mate products very well. And, uh, 
anyway you can see in this video now it's starting to really starting to look look uh pretty good the texture and the uh the part the, the thickness and the texture and the the way that it's mixing it's really starting to get mixed up very well at this point I think I'm gonna call it quits right there. So, all right. Well, that's that's the mixed grout, and uh, so I'm just gonna go in here and put this stuff on the wall, and I hope this video helps somebody today out there trying to uh, trying to mix up some of this math pay uh, grout in a small batch. So, good luck.